everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video you know guys i've suddenly realized that it's been a while since i've repainted a big styling doll hat i really love working on these bigger doll faces they're really fun to repaint uh then it also looks like you really love watching these kind of videos and strangely enough it looks like youtube algorithm really loves uh, these kind of videos on my channel because i lately went through my youtube stats and i've realized that three of my most popular videos all three of them are me repainting big styling doll hats so I don't know let's make everyone happy let's repaint another big styling doll hat today and look what I found I've bought this beautiful Belle styling doll hat from the Beauty and the Beast movie and today we're going to customize her we're going to remove this face with acetone and then I will draw a new face trying to make her look more realistic more like a real life living Belle so I really love this kind of makeover so let's start working let's keep this intro very short of course don't forget to subscribe it's very important to hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your like so this being said let's unbox this doll let's take a closer look at her and then let's start the transformation let's begin I really like this collection of dolls because they all have different faces to make them look like the actual Disney princesses in the movies. They're not those standard generic Barbie faces. And you know, for the rest, there is not much to tell you about her. She's that typical styling doll hat with some bold spots in her hair, like always, nothing new here. So now let's remove her face with pure acetone and then I will try to draw a new realistic looking face for my Belle doll. You cannot believe it guys, I ran out of space on my camera memory card while holding this cotton round with acetone on her face. And while I was busy there copying some files to my computer to make some more space on this memory card, this cotton thing with acetone got glued to my doll's face causing a complete mess here. Gosh, you really never know when you will get into trouble. <laughs> Unbelievable. But anyway, I still can make a very good imprint of her second eye. It's not completely ruined yet for today. I'm sealing her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it more paper-like and to be able to protect my work between the layers and then I start drawing. I think that Belle's main feature, I mean like facial feature, is her beautiful hazel eye color. You don't see cartoon characters with hazel eyes that often, so I think it's very unique, very beautiful. And it will also be a very interesting challenge for me today, trying to recreate those beautiful brown-green eyes. I also don't make those with hazel eyes that often, if ever. But before I start working on her eye color, I have to create a realistic looking skin tone first.
Okay, her face looks really good and now I think it's time to style her hair. So, Belle has these two things, how to call it, on the front sides of her face. It's almost like a curtain bangs, but made out of long hair. Then there is a bun on the top of her head and there's some loose curly hair on the back. So, let's section it and let's try to recreate it, trying to hide in all these bald spots on her head. looks very good. You cannot really see any bold spots here. It's all covered with other hair, so it's good. let her curls set for an hour or so and meanwhile I can attach false lashes and add gloss to her eyes and lips. After this I'm releasing the curls, I'm making them more pretty. Yeah, and this is it guys, the finished hairstyle, I don't know, I think it looks really cute and very close to what Belle wears in the movie. So now let's make an outfit for her and I will use this golden satin fabric for it, I think it will be perfect for her outfit. I cut a piece of this fabric and now I will fold it and I will connect the long sides of it, I will stitch them together. Then 
then I'm using this tiny piece of fabric to gather this dress imitation on the front. And after this, I can attach this top of the dress to the doll's body. Now I'm still going to make a rose out of this light nude mesh. The last step is attaching tiny earrings. I always forget about this piece of accessory. I don't wear earrings myself, so I always forget about this accessory on my dolls as well. So, and after this, we are ready to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Belle with her new beautiful face and I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, seeing this before and after pictures together is always so satisfying to me because you can really see how flat and boring her face was before and how realistic and alive and beautiful she became now. Really very satisfying. I'm very happy about it. I don't know. I hope you find it satisfying as well, guys. I hope you feel the same way about it so please don't forget to let me know what you think about this makeover in the comments I will be really waiting for your reactions because right now when you're watching this video I am normally somewhere on the way to the North Cape in Norway it's normally a sea day for me so I will have time to chat to you in the comments to read your comments so see you there under this video if internet on the cruise works properly of course subscribe to my Instagram by the way I'm vlogging my Norwegian adventures every day in stories there so and um, this is it this doll is available for sale on eBay for three days like always the link is in the description box under this video you can find it there and there is just one thing I still need to say in this video Guys, this is the last video before the Halloween special, so prepare yourself, it will be fun this year. So and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today guys, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon, don't know yet, maybe in two weeks, maybe next week, Friday, working on multiple projects at the same time, so I'll see when I'm done with them. So anyway, I will see you very soon, have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!